Okay guys, now that you have your letters colored in with your warmer cool colors and your little accent design um, objects in there with your your letters or uh, letters or numbers or shapes, whichever one I have you doing because each class is doing something different. On this one I'm going to paint in the I'm going to use cool colors to paint in around my letters. So I have for my cool colors, I'm going to use blue, green, or purple. When you start off, you want to be neat about this. So you're going to start at the top and work down. So I'm just going to use purple. And you're not going to color in the whole square purple, just like in the Jasper Johns picture. You're only going to color in part of it. So on this one, I'm going to paint this part in purple. This one I'm going to paint this part in purple. And see how I'm staying inside the square? Oops. And I mix colors. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do a little bit of this one purple and I'll do some purple down here in this one. Okay. And I'm using the black, it becomes the border. Okay. And if it's a darker purple in one than the other, that's okay. So I'm working from the top down because then I don't run my hand through it. And you can see how the letters and the, the, the crayons are popping out through there. So I'm going to just keep going in this. And this is step one. So you're going to use at least two colors to paint into your picture when you're done. And I'm using cool colors. And I'm after this, I'm going to use blue to fill in the rest of those spots. And you'll see what it looks like when it's done. It's going to look really cool. So you'll see. So and I'm remember, I'm hold you hold your brush like a pencil, and you just color it. Just use the tip to paint in. Just the tip. Okay, so next time I come back, all the purple will be painted in, and then I'll show you the next step.